Welcome to Ephatha, Jesus said, be opened. In Mark 2, 18 to 22, we see the Pharisees and some of John the Baptist's followers puzzled by something. They asked Jesus, why aren't your disciples fasting like everyone else? It was a common practice during that time, especially for the Pharisees who fasted twice a week. But Jesus' disciples, they weren't following this tradition. So what was going on? To understand this, let's take a step back. Fasting in Jewish tradition was more than a personal discipline. It was a sign of mourning. The Pharisees' fasting was tied to the belief that God's glory had left the temple, and fasting became a way to seek his return. The prophet Zechariah had even called people to fast in response to this separation from God. But here's the twist. The Pharisees themselves wouldn't fast during a wedding. Why? Because weddings were times of celebration. No one fasts at a joyful event. And this is exactly how Jesus responds. He gives a powerful analogy. He calls himself the bridegroom. Jesus explains, why should my disciples fast when the bridegroom is with them? In other words, the lost glory of the temple that they had been mourning over. It's right in front of them. Jesus, the Son of God, is that glory in human form. The disciples didn't need to fast because God was literally in their midst. It was a time of joy and celebration, just like a wedding feast. But Jesus didn't stop there. He also gave a foreshadowing. He said, the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken away. And it's then, when Jesus is no longer physically present with them, that his disciples would fast. So, what's the takeaway here? Fasting isn't just a religious routine. For Jesus' disciples, it wasn't about following a ritual, but about understanding its deeper meaning. While Jesus was with them, it was a time of joy. Fasting would come later, after his departure, when they would long for his return. This passage reminds us that fasting, like all spiritual practices, should have purpose and understanding behind it. It's not just about abstaining from food, but about tuning our hearts toward God, whether in celebration or in mourning. So, next time you hear this passage, remember the bridegroom is not just a metaphor, it's a declaration that in Jesus, God's glory had returned to be with his people. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more biblical insights.